Oh, what am I doing in Bazite? Today, man, we've had probably one of the most interesting weekends in the history of Universal Blue this weekend. Uh, we've been cooking, and I cannot wait to show you what we have. So this is in Bazite's testing branch, and this will be in Bluefin. I'm not sure what Aurora will do, but whatever. It's fine. Um, you click software, and you're actually going to get this. This is bizarre. This is a new app store that... Um, we're intending to replace GNOME software with one of the issues that we've been having um, for years is um, while proprietary operating systems have been really capitalizing on the app model, we've been kind of sucking, man. Like um, it feels like getting an app store that that is like pleasant, easy to use and and do everything that users want is like always a bridge too far. Um, so when um, Kalumni showed up and started posting on the GNOME subreddit that they were working on a um, replacement for GNOME software written from scratch, bottom up. Uh, I had to take a look. And over time, we started to uh, work together here pretty closely. I've started to donate. And it's become pretty clear that there's uh, definitely synergies and lots of places where we can help each other. Um, on top of that, Kyle, who's our front end guy who does the websites and is the um, the co-founder of Bazite is a front end guy. So they got to work. Uh, Kalumni made a little nice little CSS front end thing. And uh, this is what you see. Everything you're about to see here is going to change. It is in progress. I know those words. This looks like a 1990s PowerPoint presentation. Uh, but the idea is, is that we're going to prototype and iterate it uh, iterate on this quickly. You will be getting these in the Bazai testing branch and these will land in Bluefin um, after I let them cook because Kyle, Kyle and Kalumni are cooking. So uh, the way it works is each one of these sections are defined by us um, in YAML files and GitHub. Framework shout out, of course. Um, this is useful for us for a few reasons. Uh, first of all, we want to be able to curate an experience to our users. So Bazai is going to have things like gaming sections and streaming and chat and things like that. Imagine Bluefin, we're going to have developer sections. We're going to have, um, I really, really want to do like the best of GNOME circle this month. Um, you know, we want to let community people curate and show off these apps as much as possible. I want to point out right away that we intend to have donations be a first class primitive. Uh, in this store. That means it should be easy to pay developers. <laughs> um, and that's really, that's really all I'm trying to solve here. So uh, you get your little update button here. It, of course, uh, matches your GNOME uh, accent color. This isn't a VM, so it's a little jank, but that'll be fine. Um, it, it'll do stuff in the background for you, all of this kind of stuff. And uh, it is currently not hooked up now, but it will be hooked up to your GNOME search so that you can just search for something and it will populate that. The way I like to install apps is you're reading the internet, you read the new version of This Week in GNOME, you're like, oh, dude, I have to have that. I type super and I start typing, hit enter twice, um, and then that works. So uh, the search here uh, has everything. Obviously, you know, this this is a little overwhelming here. What I like about Kalumni's approach here is we learn from Steam, <laughs> right? Like you make the application look spectacular. Like the content should be about the application. You want to make it look good. One of the problems that we have is every time someone criticizing Flatpak, they're talking about these old apps that probably aren't going to come with us to the new world and there's gnashing of teeth. And so what we're going to do is highlight amazing, incredible apps that are awesome and tend to be Flatpak first. So, um, you know, I don't really have any problems with Flatpak because I use GNOME and all of those apps are always just there. Everything works. I get my permission prompts. All the portals are hooked up. Uh, so generally speaking, that works. So we just want to, we want to accelerate that. So, um, you know, you can type in here pretty fast and it does all this stuff. There's like a one click um, uh, thing. Oh, that's a share button. Ooh, that's new. Hold up. Oh, that is nice. Uh, let me pick one of these. Oh, add water. This is a great app. This uh, this makes your uh, Firefox use GTK4. So uh, we have that going on. Additionally, another feature that I asked for was our ability to deny list applications. So we need to be able to remove foot guns that are in Flathub from our users. So if you're in Bazite, sometimes people search for Steam in Flathub and install it, and we don't want that. So in Bazite, we'll be removing things like um, 
Lutris and Steam. So they don't show up in the Flatpak store at all because those are included. That way users don't paint themselves in the corner. Similarly in Bluefin, I'm going to hide VS Code and we're gonna hide all of those Jetpack Flatpaks because those are broken and instead um, uh, point you to our supported solution, which is use the upstream JetBrains toolbox because that's what they want users to do and that's what we're gonna do. So I'm also going to blacklist some things that are available in Brew and Vim, Vim, you can get those um, from, uh, from Brew and things like that. We are not going to have like a blanket policy, like, hey, this I don't like this project, so I'm gonna remove it. There's gonna have to be technical reasons. We're definitely not looking to, um, to maintain any kind of moderation or, or have any policy, like nobody wants to do any of that stuff. All we wanna do is remove fo foot guns, take apps that people love, put them in front of people so they can click a little heart, and donate. Also, this is the kind of thing that, you know, I'm kind of comfortable approaching GNOME and FlatHub with, seeing if we can tie in uh, a, a donation infrastructure of some kind that we can all work on together. So I have a blog post about this, about how GNOME, KDE, and everyone, we really need to start figuring out a way to tell app, app authors how they can ask for donations without like every single app doing something different, the desktop doing different, and then all of a sudden we're spamming people and it's just like this, like we got to figure out a nice clean way to do that. And the only way to do that is by talking to everybody and driving consensus. And I'm pretty excited. So this this whole thing is CSS here. So in, in Bluefin, it's going to have um, all the dinosaurs and things like that. And um, you can change the colors and there's all sorts of stuff. Uh, this, this front end, uh, I mean, Kyle did this in like a day and a half. So pretty excited about it. This is... Um, kind of what I've always wanted. It's nice to finally be able to, um, you know, have something that is all about, all about this. There's definitely some nerd stuff we need to hide. Like you're gonna see stuff like this with full timestamps and all the nerd Linux stuff, but that's fine. Don't worry about that. Uh, you know, considering this project is like a month old. Oh my goodness, man, how long have we been waiting for this? So I'm pretty excited about this. Please, please consider donating to the author I've left I left their address here. If you want to invest in it, uh, the only way we can get the Linux desktop of our dreams is we have to invest in it. So please, I encourage you to do this. Um, uh, I've been waiting for someone with this, this skill set to be able to help us and uh, to let you know how I decided the, the day, the minute I was all in is we're, we're talking to the author, kind of kind of figuring out if this is a fit for each other. And I asked, well, are you going to put any of the old legacy stuff in there? Like package kit? Um, and the author goes, what's package kit? And at that point, I knew I'd found my guy. So uh, with that, have a great weekend. And uh, as always, we're listening. Give us your feedback, all that good stuff. See y'all.